This video is brought to you by BetUS Sportsbook and Casino. The Dallas Cowboys just signed the fastest running back in the NFL. So we're going to be going through that and three other stories in today's video. So make sure to like this video. And if you want more Dallas Cowboys news content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that red button down below. The first story is that the Dallas Cowboys signed running back Dalvin Cook. Now the Dallas Cowboys agreed to sign veteran free agent running back Dalvin Cook this free agency and LAA Sports and Entertainment confirmed on Wednesday. Cook signed a one-year deal last offseason with the New York Jets, and he was released in January and signed with the Baltimore Ravens two days later. He visited Dallas earlier this week to meet with the Cowboys, and Cook totaled 292 yards from scrimmage and didn't find the end zone over 15 appearances in 2023. The seven-year veteran made the Pro Bowl in four of his first six seasons while with the Minnesota Vikings, and Cook totaled at least 1,300 yards from scrimmage each season from 2019 through to 2022. The veteran will join running back Ezekiel Elliott, Rico Dowdle, and Deuce Vaughn, and the Cowboys released running backs Royce Freeman and Malik Davis on Tuesday. When NFL teams were required to trim rosters to 53 players, the Cowboys, who lost 2023 starter Tony Pollard this offseason in free agency, ranked 14th in rushing yards last season. They owned a top 10 rushing attack in 8 of 9 seasons from 24 to 2022, and Dallas won open the regular season against the Cleveland Browns on September 8 in Cleveland. On top of this, we've also seen that the Dallas Cowboys will sign JC Jackson in free agency. Of course, this wouldn't be an immediate signing for the Cowboys as Jackson is suspended for the first game of the season for violating league's personnel conduct policy. The 28-year-old brings him some baggage, but could be the perfect player for the Dallas Cowboys corner need in his 6'1", 198-pound frame, could be the perfect pairing to play outside alongside Trayvon Diggs. And a one-year prove-it deal could be all it takes to bring Jackson in. The signing could be a win-win for the Dallas Cowboys and Jackson because he could return right back to form and for a team like Dallas that has never been shy about taking on risks slash reward signings, it would be the perfect time to do so. Clearly, there are some decisions to be made in Dallas, but as to when they will be made, who knows? Jerry Jones wants to see what he has before making any drastic decisions, which makes sense, but if he waits too long, it could be blurry for the team. So, while you may not see any of these guys wearing the star week one the following weeks may be a different story all right guys nfl season is here and no better way than to bet with bet us as you all know bet us has the fastest payouts in the industry and have 125 percent sign up bonus up to two thousand dollars on your first three deposits so we're going to be betting on the dallas cowboys cleveland browns game we're going with dallas cowboys for this one we definitely see them being able to take home the w so we're going to be putting ten dollars on them you know feel free to check out bet us their link will be in my description but on top of that we are going to be placing that bet and we are good to go for for this game, Dallas Cowboys, let's take it home. But like I mentioned, guys, definitely go check out BetUS. Their link will be in the description and also in the pinned comment down below. The second story is that Dak Prescott contracts talks are being held up over the length of the deal. The Dallas Cowboys have yet to sign a quarterback, Dak Prescott, to a new contract just before their 2024 regular season opener against the Cleveland Browns and a disagreement on terms is reportedly the biggest reason. Speaking Tuesday on her Scoop City podcast, The Athletic's Diana Rossini said, The holdup at this point, from what I understand, is about the years the Dallas Cowboys are willing to commit to. Rossini noted that the Cowboys are weighing whether they want to keep Prescott in Dallas longer than two, three, or even four years. Since Dak has made it clear that he wants a long-term commitment, and as of now, Prescott is set to enter the final year of a four-year, $160 million extension he signed with the Cowboys back in 2021. The 31-year-old veteran is coming off arguably the best campaign of his eight-year career as he completed 69.5% of his passes for 4,516, a career-high 36 touchdowns and nine interceptions, which were six fewer than the previous season. By virtue of his strong statistical season, Prescott was named a pro bowler and also for the third time in addition to earning all pro second team honors and finished second in the NFL MVP voting behind only Baltimore Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson. 
all of that points towards Prescott challenging for the crown of highest paid quarterback in the NFL on an annual basis, which is a distinction currently held by Joe Barrow of the Cincinnati Bengals, Jordan Love of the Green Bay Packers, and Trevor Lawrence of the Jacksonville Jaguars, all of whom make $55 million per year. Prescott has a chance to reach the $60 million mark and he'll likely will either by re-signing with the Cowboys or hitting free agency and signing elsewhere during the offseason. There is no denying the fact that Prescott has put up numbers and won plenty of games during the regular season, having posted a 7-3-41 record as a starter along with leading Dallas to the playoffs five times in eight seasons. However, Prescott is just 2-5 and five in his playoff career. On top of this, the Cowboys have never advanced past the NFC Divisional Round during his tenure. That included last season's disappointment when the Cowboys were beaten decisively at home by the 7th seeded Green Bay Packers in the NFC Wildcard Round despite being the number 2 seed. While it would be understandable for the Cowboys decision makers to wonder if Prescott is capable of getting them over the hump, they also have to consider the idea that there won't be a better quarterback option available to them anytime soon. And this is definitely a complete fact when we look at who is becoming free agents over the next couple of seasons, which is significant given that they need someone who can get the ball to superstar wide receiver CD Lamb, who just signed a four-year $136 million extension. On top of that, CeeDee Lamb and Dak Prescott play so well together, it would be a shame to see that group split up. Quarterbacks the caliber of Prescott almost never hit the free agent market, and the Cowboys aren't going to be bad enough to land a top quarterback in the draft. That would seem to suggest that Prescott has the most advantage in contract negotiations since he knows someone is going to give him the deal he desires even if the Cowboys refuse to do so. And in saying that, I definitely do see that the Cowboys should offer what Dak Prescott wants as he is and could be a generational talent for this Dallas Cowboys team with the years to come. Especially off the year he has put on so far, I definitely do see him making more of an impact coming into this next season, no doubt about it. The third story is that the Dallas Cowboys urged to add 29 interception Bullhawk ahead of opener. Former pro bowler Xavier Howard has been circled as an ad now candidate for the Dallas Cowboys ahead of their season opener. Howard is a four-time pro bowler and remains a free agent after spending eight seasons with the Miami Dolphins. He has 99 career starts, including 28 over the last two seasons and two years in Miami. The Cowboys need an experienced quarterback after losing Darren Bland to a stretch factor in his left foot. Bland led the league in interceptions a year ago, snagging 9. He returned 5 of those for touchdowns. Howard could be an excellent fit as an option alongside Trayvon Diggs, Jordan Lewis, rookie Kalen Carson, and Andrew Booth Jr., who acquired via trade in early August. Bleacher Report dubbed Howard an ad now piece for Dallas with their opener less than a week away. With Darren Bland beginning the campaign on injured reserve and thus missing at least the first four weeks, the Cowboys will be without one of their ball hawks in the secondary, Bleacher Report noted on September 2. Howard's legal issues could be a hurdle for any team looking to pick him up. However, on the field, the eight-year veteran's 39 career interceptions and 95 passes defended could be the best replacement possible for Bland at this stage. If the Cowboys do not sign Howard or another free agent, Carson will have a significant role. Carlson has impressed so far during training camp and the preseason, winning over some of Dallas veterans. I think Carson, he flashed a lot, Cowboys star Micah Parsons said, during training camp. They realized that pretty early and now he's not playing the preseason games so he can kind of see where he's going in his direction in his career. He's going to play a lot. We have a great group here. We had a lot of injuries the last two years and now we have some depth at the quarterback position which is really good. Carson will be tested if he plays opposite Diggs, who missed last season but led the NFL in interceptions in 2021. He's ready to capitalize on the opportunity. On top of this, it sucks because Bland is like my brother and he's one of those guys, Carson said. It's terrible news. Just make the most of every opportunity. Take notes from Bland and some of the older guys and just make most of the opportunity. 
The Cowboys secondary does get a nice boost with Diggs' return. He came off the PUP list in late July and is starting to feel like his old self. It felt good getting back and moving around other players, getting adjusted to other bodies flying near me, so it was good. I got a lot of great work in today. I'm not really in a challenge, but I trust it right now, Diggs told the Cowboys official site on August 14th. It's just more getting the repetition and getting back to what I do. Getting familiar with the roots, that's pretty much it. As far as mentally, being scared or anything, I'm not scared. The Cowboys secondary will get a good measuring stick opportunity out of the gate against the Cleveland Browns. Deshaun Watson is returning for Cleveland after playing in just six games a year ago due to injury. The Browns boast a receiving corpse that includes former Cowboys Amari Cooper, Jerry Judy, Pro Bowl tight end David Njoku, and Elijah Moore. So thank you so much for watching today's video. And guys, do not forget, make sure you go check out BetUS. Their link will be in the description. Definitely go check them out. And thank you again, BetUS, for sponsoring today's video. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.